Okay. Uh, first of all, obviously, uh, extremely tough loss. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that happened during the game. We lost a lot of guys. Uh, a lot of guys went down. Next man up mentality. Our guys kept fighting till the end. There was a lot of times it didn't look good. They kept fighting and competing. Um, you know, we got the big turnover um, down there to get the short field, and then we had a ball tipped, and they picked it and took it to the house right there. Um, you know, disappointed locker room, obviously. Um, I really believe this will be uh, one of the defining moments of this year's team. I believe we got a lot of winners in the locker room. Uh, we have an off week. We got to get healed up. Uh, it'll be good for our coaches, uh, really, in all three phases to get the best plans moving forward. Um, but we got a lot of winners in that locker room. I'm proud of the way the guys competed and fought. Um, Louisville's a good team. Congratulations to them. them. Uh, they got good players and uh, uh, they got good coaches and they, they deserve a lot of credit. Questions? There's so many ups and downs in a game like this. What kind of message do you get to the team after a game like Yeah, this? just, um, you know, I'm proud of the way they compete. Um, you know, tough way to lose. Um, you got to be a big boy. You got to man up. and. Uh, you know, we're, we're hurting right now. Anytime you lose a game like that, we were close to winning, we felt like. And uh, you just got to man up. And uh, I'm confident that team, this team will do it. Like I said, we got a bunch of winners. And there was a lot of ups and downs tonight. Um, there was a lot of times it didn't look good. The crowd was extremely loud. They got into it. They had the momentum. And we just kept answering it back, whether it was offense or defense. And um, like I said, it was just um, it was a tough one. Coach just saw Dylan with his arm in a sling. What can you tell us about him? Yeah, I, I really don't know. Um, you know, I, I don't know the diagnosis yet or what, what's wrong. And he's a great competitor, great player, and uh, competed to the last, you know, the last play. How jarring was it to see so many injuries and guys have to leave the game? Yeah, yeah, and experienced very many times like that. You know, we we're already playing without our center, Matt Lee, which is one of our better players, and. Adrian Medley did a really good job. Cole Snyder came in and played center and did a phenomenal job on the road. And then, of course, Bowser going down, I guess, the first drive or two. Um, obviously, that's a big blow for us. Uh, we did have running back by committee, and they did a good job. And J. Flash went down. And I think Bethune went down. And we had a lot of guys, and it was a physical game. And you know, we're a little beat up now, so it's good we have an off week. What did having Bowser out do to change your offense at that point? Well, I mean, um, First of all, he's a he's a, uh, an impact player. I mean, he's a really dominant player, and so. But I was proud of the way the guys came in. It was kind of by committee. Coles did a good job. Johnny Richardson f finished the thing off. Mark Anthony got some some touches. So it was by committee after that. And he tried to come back in. Give him credit. He's a tough guy. He tried to come back in that second half and just couldn't do it. Gus, you say the the interception got tipped. You think? I think it did. I mean, that just from the sideline, it looked like it did. Take us through your thinking there, not running the ball. You got some timeouts there. Why the throw at that point? Yeah. Um, you know, I was thinking that, uh, yeah, obviously, when I called it, I mean, I'm thinking it was it would, you know, would work out. It didn't. So, yeah, you looking back, you definitely could have ran the ball with, with timeouts, but felt good about it when I called it. What do you, what do you hope your team learns from a game like this? Learns um, just uh, really that deeper – inner champion in you that, you know, it's hard to come out when you're a lot of frustration, a lot of hurt. Uh, we got great competitors and that's what you learn in life. There's adversity, there's major adversity in the game of football. Sometimes you can learn more through losses, tough losses than you can wins. And um, I'm confident that, uh, you know, our team will do that. Yeah, I'll just say something about the stature of UCCF that you come in here to an ACC program and they bring their A game and the fans bring their A game as well? Yeah, I mean, you know, they're a big program and you can tell the way they celebrate it. I mean, that was, uh, was a big win for them. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're a good program. What led to the struggles all night containing Malik Cunningham? Uh, he's really talented. We knew that, you know, and it's kind of one of those things, man, do you rush him all out or do you just try to contain him and, and all that? And I thought Trav did a good job of mixing things up and, you know, trying to keep him – Bottled up, but he's a really good player. Jamal Murray for Ash have been out the first few weeks. He came up with a big interception at the end. Just kind of what are your thoughts, you know, before everything that happened today, and what are your thoughts on, on Ashley looking like they've had a chance to come down and win it? Yeah, I mean, it, it, they gave us, the defense gave us a, a, a position that we could win the game, and you kind of felt that way, you know, you felt kind of have the momentum. That was a huge momentum. Great call by Coach Williams, um, and they uh, they executed and got the ball for the offense. A couple more. 
how big of a change in momentum was it? You get them to, uh, they, they, they don't succeed on the four downs, you get the ball back in the middle of the field a couple minutes to go in the game, but you're not able to do anything there on a couple of plays. Ooh, when was it now? When they went for the fake punt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was a tough one. We we tried uh, uh, a trick play. You know, we tried a, a, a off the wildcat reverse, and uh, it was incompletion second and ten. Um, and then I think we threw it again and had incompletion in third downs. We just weren't very good on third down tonight. I mean, that, when I look at the stat sheet, what is it, three for ten and or two for ten? And that was really the the thing that really stands out to me. But yeah, that was a big possession that we had some momentum after that. That it would have been nice to score. It is. I mean, it's, for injuries, it is, um, and I think it's good for our staff and, and our players too. Uh, we'll do a lot of self-evaluation, and um, we understand, you know, the strengths of this team. I feel like after three games, especially when you play a quality opponent like Louisville, you play a quality opponent like Boise State. Um, you know, you you know what you have. Is part of your message to the team that it doesn't change your goals for the bigger picture? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I told, told those guys I really believe that you know, it could be the defining moment for this team. Um, you know, even though adversity, I've had teams in the past that, you know, rebounded, and I feel confident this team will rebound. And um, the thing about it, we got a lot, a lot of winners. Um, they're going to compete to the last zero, and I think you, you've seen that, you know, uh, two out of the last three games. That's good, Coach. Thank you. Okay, thank you.